हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 16 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी इन दिस वीडियो विल अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेरी स्टिंग पारामीटर इन एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी सो इन दिस बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट 16 प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 15 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी व्हाट इज कॉस्ट ऑफ मेथड नेम्स यूजिंग एट्रीब्यूट इन एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी एंड व्हाट आर द एट्रीब्यूट्स यूज फॉर एस टी like uh, get post put and delete so in this video we'll discuss few points that is what is query string parameters and steps to use query string parameters and verify query string parameters using swagger ui so guys i'll open my visual studio so this is the uh, web api project and uh, we'll discuss about only get method so earlier we have implemented the attribute for get method and we have customized the method name to load emp details so in this method only we implement the query string parameter to uh, um, uh, to show the output based on a uh, few queries so here we need to modify the this uh, http get attribute of load emp details method so in this method we can retrieve all the employees right but we need to implement the query string parameter to retrieve the employees by gender all right so what i'll do is i need to modify the, this code okay so what i'll do here is i need to mention here http response message the type of load right so yes so instead of i enumerable i have implemented the http response message message so this return type is used for implementation of a status code that is 200 okay or 400 uh, bad request so after then what i'll do is i need to pass the gender as parameter to the method right and what i'll do is string and put here gender all right okay i need to mention here as in small so gender equal to in double quotation we mention here all right so all that is the default value and the default value makes the parameter optional so here the gender parameter of this method is mapped to the gender parameter sent in the query string okay we need to modify the remaining codes here so i need to remove this one so here guys this this line of code is used for connecting to the uh, database right so satya db entities and inside it we we need to uh, write some switch case statements for uh, all the gender types so the code is switch and inside we have to uh, make the gender to lower case so when the user will uh, pass any query string parameter like male or female even uh, they write the code uh, they write the male or female in capital small or any combination of that it will uh, convert it to lawyer all right and uh, after then here we mention some case statements right so <coughs> uh, to save this time i already have the code so i'll copy these things this this line of code okay and uh, just maximize this one so this is the various case statements under switch and uh, here i'll paste this course okay so what this course defines is uh, <coughs> If case statements is all that means default it will return all the employee details right and you can see here return request create response status code is okay and entities employee date to list so that means it will return all the employee details including male female and uh, second case is for male so it will return the status code 200 okay and it will filter the uh, filter the data based in based on the parameter that is male right so um 
here employee dates each or gender to lower equal to equal to male so it will return all the employee details whose uh, gender is male <coughs> and this case is for female and we have implement the uh, link you here to uh, query string with this value female then it will return all the employee details which are uh, gender, gender is female and the default is the error status code that is create error response response we have implemented so these things we already have uh, discussed in my previous video so you can get go through the in my playlist that is sp dot and web api tutorial so default case is that is a bad request it's nothing but 400 bad request so if the value for gender is not male female or all then the service should return status code 400 bad request for example if we specify the uh, gender as uh, xyz and as for as the value of our gender then the service should return status code 400 bad request with the following message that is the value for gender must be male female or all and the gender what it is uh, passing during query string parameter is invalid right <clears throat> so this is the code for query string parameter uh, so so these things will uh, retrieve the employee details based on the gender right so uh, so depending on the value we specify for query string parameter the gender so this method should return the data right so after doing these changes only this much changes i have done in my get method so after do doing these changes i need to build my solution So here build is succeeded and I will run my application. So now guys I will map to my API employee. So now I have seen the all the employee details right so uh, by default so I'll check for case all how to check here by passing query string parameter. So here what i'll do put the question mark and gender equal to all right so this is nothing but uh, this line of this case statements will check in case of uh, in form of query string parameter so press enter so guys here you can see this is return all the employee details right because default value is all so case statements all that means it will return all the employee details so next we will check for male whose gender is male so what i'll do here is we just uh, instead of all we'll type here male And you can see I have uh, I am getting all the employee details whose ID whose gender is male so gender male you can see for gender is male and gender male and here you can see gender is male and next is we will check for whose gender is female so in Ill, using query string parameter that is we will mention here female now i can get the employee details whose gender is female right you can see this uh, four records whose gender is female now we'll check for invalid uh, invalid gender right so default case so what i'll do is i mention here gender is x y z so the this is the invalid gender so that i am getting the error response is the value for gender must be male female or all xyz is invalid because we have configured that message in our default case that's what we are getting this er response message when we have passing some invalid query string parameter values all right so this is the browser level we have implemented the query string parameter and how to check using swagger 
so I'll show you here So I'll expand this employee controller and I, I, I'll check this get method API employee. So here you can see guys one new text box you are getting that is it is auto generated by the swagger that is instead of we are uh, passing the questioning parameter like question mark gender male question mark gender equal to female or question mark gender equal to all so in swagger it is not required to uh, mention this parameter value manually in the browser so it will uh, so it will give you the text box value for gender parameter so the parameters list under parameters list we are getting this gender parameter and its values so here i will type here is all and try it out So I can see all the employee details whose gender is male and female, right? Here you can see all the employee details. So same way we'll check for male male gender. So I can see this employee whose gender is male only. There is no female, and I got the response code is 200 OK, right? And same way we'll check for female try it out so I can see all the employee details whose gender is female only and I'm getting the response code is 200 okay so I need to pass here as uh, invalid gender value and try it out so I'm getting the response message here in the response body that is the value for gender must be male female or all XYZ is invalid and I'm getting the response code is 400 bad request Alright, so uh, this is the benefits of using Swagger. So instead of uh, using query string parameter manually, the Swagger is uh, providing you the parameter values as a including in your text box so that you just pass the parameter values and click on try it out and you will get the response based on that uh, value of this parameter. And also in a request URL, we are getting this uh, uh, URL. Uh, including the query string parameter values right so this is the uh, most benefits we if you are using the uh, swagger ui in our co in our code so this is the biggest advantages of using swagger ui all right so this is the uh, how to implement the swagger uh, qu query string parameter in our code and how to check the response of query string parameter in browser as well as using swagger ui so i'll go to my presentation here before that I need to stop my debugging so uh, what is query string parameter so action methods in web API controller can have one or more parameters of different types and web API binds action method parameters with the URL query string or with the request body depending on the parameter type uh, so depending on the value we specify for query string parameter gender the get method should return the data that is the url for all employees is uh, this is the api url http localhost api employee uh, question mark gender equal to all that means it will return all the employees if we pass the uh, parameter as query string parameter as gender equal to male it will return only male employees if you pass gender as female in query string parameter it will return female uh, it will return female employees so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it so in this video what we have learned today is what is query string parameter and how to and uh, how to implement query string parameter in our action method of controller using case statements and how to verify query string parameters using swagger ui so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day